Hey guys, Kelly Fab here, and today I decided that I'm going to go through this drawer here, which is basically going to be this bin and all the things in the front here, and these things over here. These are my little perfume samples, and these are some lip glosses. I'm not going to go through those today. I am going to go through my primers. I couldn't think of the word. Primers, liquid foundations, and all of my setting sprays. So let's get right into it and get this going i'm super excited to get this drawer cleaned out i have been i have been trying a bunch of my foundations in here to see if i still like them or if i can get rid of them and i have a lot to say so let's get going foundations, primers, setting spray, setting spray. So I have foundations here and here, only liquid foundations. You guys know I love my powder foundations, but these are all my liquid foundations. These are setting sprays and these are all of my primers right now. This does not include anything in any of my projects because they're somewhere else and I don't feel like going through those because I know I'm going to keep those and use them up. So this is what I have for now. This is a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna put foundations I'm keeping here. I'm gonna put primers and setting sprays that I'm keeping in here. So I'm trying to get those in the screen so you guys can see and then everything else I'll put off to the side that I'm not going to be keeping. Kind of wanna set, start with setting sprays because it's less overwhelming for me. Um, okay, so this is the Prep and Prime Mac Fix Plus. Obviously, I am keeping that. I use this all the time. This and this are brand new. I just got it in a sample cut sample kit on my Sephora VIB sale. This is the Marine Boosting Mist. I'm not even sure how to use this, but I will try to figure it out. And then this is the Cover Effects Illuminating Setting Spray. I'm really excited to try this. So these are both gonna be kept. This I always use for wetting my brush for like a more intense color. I should put it on the English side. This is just the Wet n Wild setting spray. I think they have like a different name for it now. It's not called the setting spray anymore, but I love this, so I'm definitely keeping. This is my Project Beauty Spray Set Go. This was in one of my favorites videos. This I got from a BoxyCharm. Love it, I would totally repurchase it. The sprayer on here is a, it's a little bit obnoxious, but yes, I love this setting spray. This is the Master Fix by Maybelline, and honestly, I think this is exactly the same as the Urban Decay All Nighter. They do the exact same thing for me. They smell the exact same. I, I love this, I'm so happy I found it. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely keeping this. This one's new to my collection. This is the Mara Badesco Skin Care Facial Spray with Aloe, Ro Aloe Herbs and Rose Wood. Rose Water. Oh my goodness, I cannot read. I'm going to keep this and keep testing it out. I haven't sprayed this on my skin after my makeup. I usually spray this like a primer. So I think I'm going to put this on the primer side of my little bin here. So that way I can use it as a primer. Then I've of course got my Urban Decay All Nighter. This is in my products to use up or 12 pans of Christmas. That's what it is. And this is in my 12 pan pans of Christmas and I'm definitely keeping this obviously. And then this is what I just got from my Sephora VIB sale. This was the two pack of the All Nighter. Definitely keeping this. I guess I'll move on to foundations. I feel like foundations are a little bit overwhelming for me, but I'm gonna just do it. I'm gonna start with these. So this is the It Cosmetics CC Plus Cream. I love these. You guys hear people talk about this all the time. I have the big tube in light and I have the little sample size in medium. In the summertime, I mix them together, but in the wintertime, I just use light. So I'm definitely keeping those. Then this is one I haven't tried yet. This is the No Makeup Feel Essence Pure Nude. 
foundation. I have the shade 10 Pure Beige. And let me do a little... I think you have to shake this. Yeah. Okay, so... This is like almost like a water type of formula. It has a really god-awful smell. It's a very, very strong smell, but it looks really nice. I haven't given this a fair shake. Um, I'm kind of moving out of my liquid foundations. This looks really, really nice though. Even like if I just blended it in with my hand, yeah, that totally looks like the no makeup makeup look. So I'm definitely gonna keep this and try it out. Then I have my Maybelline Dream BB Cream. I love this, I, lo I wear it all the time. Then I have this LA Colors Liquid Makeup. This is in the shade 310 Natural. Um, I gave this a little bit of a, a try and it just settled weird and it looked strange on my face. I'm gonna get rid of this one. This I use just to mix in with my foundation, so that's why I have it make I have it with my foundations. But it is the Becca Shimmery Skin Perfector Liquid in Prosecco Pop. I know I pronounced this wrong like 15 times on my Boxy Charm videos, but it's Prosecco Pop, not Prochesco or Prosesco or whatever. I'm gonna keep this anyways and keep mixing that in with my foundations. I really do like it. These are the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundations. I have two, two different shades. I have this shade Light Medium Neutral and Light Neutral, and I love these in like times where I need a full coverage look or when I'm doing something really important and I want my skin to look completely like perfect and flawless, I use these. So definitely, definitely keeping these ones. I have the Wet n Wild uh, Photo Focus Foundation, and I just don't like these. I bought this one for Halloween because it's really, really light. It's in the shade Shell Ivory, and that's obviously too light for me. And then this one's in Buff Bisque, and I just don't like these Wet n Wild foundations at all. I just, I just don't like them. I like the fact that it's cruelty free, and I know everybody likes these, but I just don't like them. So I'm gonna get rid of these. Um, then I have my Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Tint in the shade. Nude 40. I love this. You guys have seen me wear this a bunch of times. This is definitely like my winter color and I like this a lot. So I'm going to keep that. Then this is the one that I tried the other day. I just didn't really like how it sat on my skin. It is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. It's in the shade 842 Medium Beige. So I'm going to get rid of this one. I just didn't like the way it looked. It's like brand new. I literally used it once yesterday and then I wiped it off my face because I didn't like it. So then I have two of these Elf Flawless Finish Foundations. This one is in the shade Sand and then this one is in the shade Porcelain. I got the Porcelain shade to mix in with Sand during the winter time because Sand's a bit too dark for me in winter. So I am going to keep both of these. I'm going to take this out of the packaging though because you guys know me too well. If it stays in the packaging, it never gets used, which is why I haven't used it yet. So this is the, it doesn't have the name on it, unfortunately, but this is the like anti-acne, like prevents acne from breaking out on your skin when you're wearing foundation. Can't remember what it's called. I'll list it down below if I can remember. Um, but it is in the shade Buff. I used it one time and it was a little bit too thick on my skin. It looked really nice, but it's a little bit orangey on my skin. Actually, it blends in pretty well, but it's just too thick for me. And I don't, I know that I have my Amazonian Clay 12 hour foundation from Tarte. This one looks really nice, but it's just too thick. Then I have this L'Oreal Paris Magic Skin Beautifier BB Cream. I hauled this a little while back. I gotta shake it up. This one is definitely one you have to shake up. What color did I get? I got the shade light and I got this for like summertime wear and it's so weird because it goes on purple. Do you guys see how purple that is? And then it like magically changes. Look at that. Oh, it's so amazing. <laughs> I'm so silly. But seriously though, it's super lightweight. It's really pretty. It's very orangey though. So I don't know if there's like different shades. It looks very orangey on my skin. I know I wanted to wear this over the summer, but I completely forgot. 
You know what, I think I want to keep it and try it again next summer, but over the winter it's going to be too dark, um, which is crazy because it's in the shade light. So if you have fairer skin than me, this is not going to work for you. But yeah, I'm going to try this over the summertime and see how I like it. And I have this Wet n Wild BB Cream. It's SPF of 15. It's in the shade... What shade is this? Light Medium. So let's try that one over here. So this one's got more of like the pinky tint to it. I haven't, I don't remember, I don't remember when I used this if I liked it or not. It feels really nice. It kind of feels a little bit tacky on the skin, which I don't hate. I think I'm going to keep this and try this out as well. Oh, I thought I was going to get rid of a lot more foundations than I am getting rid of, but I'm going to try that one out and see how it goes. See if I actually like it. These Ready Set Gorgeous foundations by CoverGirl. I used to love these. I, th I still like these better than a lot of these other ones over here. But I don't think I need four shades. I usually typically mix 115 with one of these 200 shades. 210 is medium beige. 205 is natural beige. 120 is nude beige and 115 is buff beige. Okay, so I'm gonna keep 115 and I'm gonna keep 210. So I'm gonna keep the buff beige and medium beige and mix those together and that's usually like my perfect shade. I was trying to remember if it was 205 or 215, but I'm gonna keep both of those. I don't need all four of these, that's just way too much. And then I'm gonna get rid of 120 Nude Beige and 205 Natural Beige. So this is one I think it's getting kind of old. It is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte. And I got the shade 102 Shell Beige. I feel like I'm running out of room to try these out. Oh, yeah, it's completely separated. Yeah, so this is more of like the gray beige color. Um, on my skin tone, I think I'm going to get rid of this one. I don't ever wear it. I don't even remember. I think I remember wearing it like one time, but I'm going to get rid of this one. Okay guys, so let's finish up here. I have three more foundations left. I have the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1. It is in the number three light beige. Why does everything have to be called beige? Like, I feel like that's such a boring color name. Like, why can't they call it light beautiful i don't know i'm just saying but this one's a very th thick thick foundation um i think this one's too dark for me i like to have my foundation a bit lighter than my skin and this one is like pretty much just like one hint darker and not only that but I don't really wear this one very often because it is a full coverage foundation so I am going to clean this one up and get rid of this one like I said it's in the shade 03 light beige next I have the Revlon cover cover stay color stay foundation in the shade 240 medium beige and oh oh I have opened this one I was gonna say why is it not opening because it's stupid sticker thing is like underneath okay so this one this one's not the right tone for me <laughs> do you guys see that color this is not the right color for me i do remember i feel like i used this and really liked it this is for normal to dry skin by the way um i used this in the winter time at one point and i don't know how i got away with it look how dark that is it's very dark and orange on me um so i'm gonna get rid of this one and then the very last one i have here is the revlon age defying firming and lifting makeup in the shade 20 tender beige and let's see about this one yeah, see that one's the perfect tone for me. See how that's just lighter than my skin? That's exactly how I like it because then when I fade it out, it fades out perfectly. I can't remember if I like this formula or not, but it's really spreading pretty far. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep this one and try it out again. I don't remember loving it or hating it, but yeah, I'm going to definitely use this this winter and try to get some use out of it and see how far I can get with this. So this one I'm going to keep. Oh, that was all the foundations. I got rid of quite a few, not as many as I thought I was going to, but I feel like I got rid of quite a few. So on to the last part here. 
we've got primers. <laughs> so I'm gonna move this into the screen here. Okay, so I'm gonna put all the primers here in this bin. Okay, so I have two green colored primers. I did use this one on my son before we put his Halloween makeup on, just to kind of protect his skin from the makeup. And it looked so nice and it really makes your skin so soft and ready for makeup, makeup application. So I really do like this one. I'm gonna keep that. And then this is the e.l.f. one. This is the tone adjusting primer. I don't remember loving or hating this. It's a very thick green primer. It's supposed to help redness. And, you know, I haven't really given it a fair shot on my red cheeks. So I want to give this one a fair shot, especially because I love their mineral primer so much. So I'm definitely going to try this and give it a shot. This is the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. I'm trying to remember all of these. Yeah, I do like this one. I remember I've used this one quite a few times. This one is good, but I cannot use it when I have very, very dry skin because it kind of clings onto my dry patches, but it has just the right amount of oiliness where I can mix it with a very hydrating primer and then it'll look perfect. So I'm gonna keep this. Then I have this NYX Born to Glow Illuminating Primer. I know everybody was obsessed with this for a while. Uh oh, it keeps squirting out. Oh crap. Oh my god. Stop it. Stop it. Let's stop it. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> I think there's too much air buildup in there. But this is the most beautiful, like, illuminating primer. Just like it says, like, it really gives your skin a glow. Like, look at how glowy my arm is now. I really do love this primer. I haven't used it in a while. I actually forgot it was even in my collection. Like as it was so buried in the bin that I forgot I even had this. So I'm really excited to use this again. It's not really that old. I just kind of lost it. <laughs> so this is the Milk Makeup Blur Stick. This I just got in my Sephora VIB sale haul. And it's like a little sample. I'm definitely keeping that. I'm going to try that out. This is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. I love this. It's just like the Born to Glow. Only this has more of like a natural tint to it, where the Born to Glow has more of like a white, like opalescent tint to it. This one has more of like a body skin color tint, if that makes any sense. So I'm gonna keep this one for sure. This is the Becca First Light Priming Filter. I feel like I have another one of these, yes. I have two of these little sample sizes that I wanted to try and use. So I'm gonna keep them both for now, but if I don't end up liking it, then I'll get rid of the one that I don't use. But I'm probably, I'm assuming I'll like this, honestly, because, oh wait, I gotta take it out of the box. Then I have this NYX Pore Filler Primer. Okay, so this definitely blurs your pores away, but this one is so similar to this Benefit one. This Benefit one is like completely brand new. And I've been using a sample size of this Benefit one and I've hated it. So I'm gonna get rid of this Benefit. It's the Porefessional. I'm gonna give this to my brother's girlfriend. I know she'll love it. She loves this primer. So I'm gonna give that to her. But I think I'm gonna try to keep this NYX pore filler. It feels actually a lot more hydrating than the Benefit one does. So I'm gonna try that out. Then I have this three little samples that came in my little sample kit. This is the Smashbox Primer Water. I'm gonna try that out. This is the Primed and Peachy Too Faced Cooling Matte Skin Perfecting Primer. I'm gonna try that out. And then this is the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer and I've heard so much good about this. I'm gonna try this out for sure. So basically, I kept all my primers except for one. I kept all of my setting sprays, which I figured I would. And then I got rid of a bunch of foundations, which is kind of what I wanted to do. That was kind of more or less my goal for this little section here. I feel a lot better about all of these products. I'm not gonna count these up because you can tell I only got rid of two, four, six, eight, 10, 11 products here and I kept all the rest of them. But honestly, looking at my collection now, I feel much, much happier about this collection. Okay, you guys, I realized that I forgot to do my concealers. This is my little tiny bin of concealers. I don't use concealer very often, you guys know that. I use like a banana shade or a light color to set my under eye more often than not. 
So these are all I've got. <laughs> I know it's crazy to some people, but yeah, this is all I've got. This and this one are in my products to use up in 2017. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to finish these. I just don't use them enough, but I am going to keep them and see them through. These two Revlon Color Stay ones. This one's in the shade 03 Light Medium, and this one is in the shade 04 Medium. Obviously, I got these way too dark for my skin tone. So these ones you could definitely use to correct blemishes and stuff, but I really don't have that many breakouts to be completely honest. So I am gonna get rid of these. I'm gonna put them there, keeping and getting rid of. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Neutral. This one I actually think is one shade too dark, but I am gonna keep this one and see it through. It was very expensive, so I wanna use that up. Um, These are in the same shade Ivory. I really do like this. Um. This is like my backup for when this one goes out. I think I'm gonna keep this. I really do like this. and such a lightweight concealer. I really do like this. This is the Maybelline New York. This is the Fit Me Concealer in the shade 10. I haven't used this in a long time. I definitely think it's actually too, like it's like my skin tone. Like that's the color I'd want my foundation to be like really light like that. So I think I'm gonna get rid of that. And then this is the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer in the shade 02, but I don't, 02 Fair. So I think this is more of like a my shade color that I'd want. Yeah, it's a very, very brightening concealer. So I think I'm going to keep this one. It's super lightweight too. Like it just blends out to nothing. I really do like this. So I'm going to keep this one. So out of my eight concealers I had, I'm gonna keep my five here. Only one high-end concealer. All of these are drugstore. And then I'm gonna get rid of these three shades that I think are actually too dark for me. So I'm gonna keep these three lighter colors and get rid of those. So I feel like that is pretty good. I feel much better about my collection of concealers here now. So make sure you guys Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more declutters. I will link all of them down below by section so that you guys can check out specific sections, you know, like blushes, bronzers, um, stuff like that if you guys are into like a particular type of declutter. And make sure to ring the bell for more videos from me and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!